become, O oh Lord, our God. Having acknowledged before God that we have offended him as well as our neighbors, let us recite now the second form of the act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you from all your sins, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, you will again renew us. And your people will rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, Lord. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our to you. The Lord be with you. And also Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord so that we may enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Come to me, all you that yearn for me, and be filled with my fruits. You will remember me as sweeter than honey, better to have than the honeycomb. Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, this time, shall be world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord 
be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, this is your celebration prepared at your Son's command. Empower us to approach your altar worthily and feed us with the bread of life and the cup of gladness. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. book of Exodus. Elijah went a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, O Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree, but then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked, and there at his head was a hearth cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him and ordered, Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate, and drank. Then strengthened by that food, he walked forty days and forty nights to the mountain of God, Horeb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and seek the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord, and lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and seek the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the afflicted man called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The second reading is from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with which you were sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting, and revealing must be removed from you, along with all malice. And be kind to one another compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Happy the man who meditates on wisdom and reflects on knowledge. Alleluia, alleluia. To the victor I shall give some of the hidden mana. Alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God who cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal. Cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the holy gospel according to St. John. The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. 
And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen to you, my dear brothers and sisters. Man does not live by bread alone. Most of us would say and be correct that this is what Jesus said to the devil when he hungered and was tempted to change stones into bread. But this is not the first time that the scripture passage is recorded in the Bible. It is much older. It is first found in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8, verses 1 through 3, when God speaks unto his people. Be careful to observe all the commandments that I have given you today, that you may live and increase, and may enter in and possess the land which the Lord promised on earth. To your ancestors. Remember how for these 40 years the Lord your God has directed all your journey in the wilderness so as to test you by afflictions, to know what was in your heart, whether you were to keep his commandments or not. He therefore humbled you to let you be hungry and then fed you with manna, a food unknown to you and your ancestors, 
So you might know that it is not by bread alone that man lives, but by every word that proceeds of the mouth of God. Jesus, knowing the word of God, relied on the word of God, which strengthened him through his temptation in the wilderness. How difficult it must have been for the children of Israel to have wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. We talked briefly about their problems. Among them, no water, no food. We learned that God did not abandon them, that he provided them with their daily bread, the manna, the bread of heaven, which they lived on for all those years. In this passage from the book of Deuteronomy, we read that God had tested their faith. God tells them that he has given them commandments and that they were to suffer many afflictions on their journey by God to see whether they would keep these commandments. Each of us are on a journey, whether it be for 40 years, 60 years, or longer. And each of us during our journey has and will have trials, tribulations, and afflictions, which will affect our physical, mental, and emotional well-being. When one feels the heaviness of these difficulties, difficulties and problems, it is only human that one will ask, why me, God? Many get angry at God, turn away from God, and even forsake God. But the question is asked, were we ever promised a life without problems or difficulties? When I get down emotionally and depressed and think that God doesn't love me, I consider Job, who had lost everything, his family, his livelihood, and even his health. Through all his trials and tribulations that he endured, God stayed faithful unto God, and in the end, God not only restored Job back to his original status, but that he had blessed Job even more. None of us are exempt from suffering and pain, but I would say that the one who seeks God and the promises he has made as found in Holy Scripture is the one who will find the ointment which will bind all wounds. Man does not live by bread alone in a physical sense, but is enriched spiritually with the living bread of the Word of God, as Jesus proclaims in the Good News. I find that when I am depressed, God has words to help pick me up. When I get angry, God has words that can take away that anger. When I feel alone and reach out to God in prayer, He comes to me with His words and His presence. I am not saying that any of us will be free from disappointments or setbacks, but I do believe that we can all find comfort in his word. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavenly burdened, and I will give you rest. And did not Jesus offer each of us peace? For he said, Peace I leave you, my peace I give unto you, not like the world can give, but as I give to you. When we humbly seek God in his word in our lives, we align ourselves spiritually to him. Just as Elijah experienced his own hardships, he found at the end that God provided for his needs and gave him the strength to continue his journey. 
so it is with us. My dear brothers and sisters, God speaks to us through his word. In this holy church, as he spoke through an angel unto Elijah, get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. We never know how long our journey will be, but if we, like Elijah, can get up and seek God and trust in him and partake of the living bread as found in the teachings of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and partake at his table of his body and blood. And when we drink from the living waters that he offers us, which restores and nourishes our souls, we will have the strength, like Elijah, to continue to the mountain and to the divine presence of God. May we take to heart the words and the wisdom of our blessed Lord as found in today's gospel. And he said to them, It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Amen. Amen. I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life, for I am the bread of life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made of one being with the Father, through him all things are made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified on the conscious Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, with the Father and the Son. He is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge my baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O oh God. We give thanks and we invoke your name and we declare your wondrous deeds.
making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask the Lord to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and to make it pleasing to yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries, in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, his almighty Father, giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner after supper, taking this excellent chalice, into his holy and venerable hands, again, he gave thanks to you. Blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, <clears throat> Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, in his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of eternal and everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which our high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice of the the host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, the Lord, and all the rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and all the saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy and with lives patterned after their divine master merited eternal joy. Numbers in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, Revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, almighty Father, in the unity 
of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching, and then following divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, What shall we return unto the Lord? 
for all the graces he hath rendered unto me. I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord.
Come, eat of my food, and drink of the wine I have mixed. Forsake foolishness, that you may live. Advance in the way of understanding. The Lord be with you. Let us pray, Lord Jesus Christ, we have shared in this sacred banquet, so may we anticipate entering your eternal kingdom, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Go, the sacrifice is offered. Be to May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which we, though unworthy, have offered in the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy, may it be effective for ourselves and for all those for whom we have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace and serve God. Thanks be to God. Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. I welcome you to church this day. Yesterday when I was in my office in the evening, I heard something outside and I opened up the door and I could not believe the intensity of the rain that was falling. Someone said that last night we had over two and a half inches of rain. And so, uh, it's supposed to rain all week, but it's supposed to dry out beginning Saturday. And so remember and pray that the good Lord would bless us. I do bring to mind that there is going to be a very brief meeting downstairs pertaining to the chicken barbecue, which is only one week away. We are still gathering donations from not only businesses, but from parishioners and friends. And so I ask in this final week that you please pass this information, share it with your family, share it with your friends, because it is only when we come together collectively that we will be successful collectively. I bring to mind this week, tomorrow, Monday, there is going to be at 7 o'clock Adult Bible and Discussion Group. I bring to mind Saturday. I did schedule work projects, but I know that there's going to be a lot of preparation for the uh, chicken barbecue. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I bring to mind that next Sunday Holy Mass will be at 9 o'clock, and we are going to have a regular spoken Mass so that there will be many of those who will be working at the picnic that will not be attending. So I bring that to your attention. Uh, I'm still waiting to hear from Mr. Uh, Sanam Lama about the International Shugden Awareness Day. He is aware of the, uh, of the information that I want to thank Teresa for, for preparing uh, so that we um, can be in, in terms with our insurance, and so there will not be, uh, we pray, any kind of a problem uh, for liability. Is there anything else? Mariana, I think I saw in the back of the church that there are 
gifts that people have brought. Yes, thank you, Father. And, and so if you have, please, you know, we're only one week away. Um, please, if need be, get in contact with me. Uh, call the rectory or call my cell phone so that someone can be here to receive your gifts. Is there anything else that needs to be mentioned for next week? Yes, we're, I think the last time I looked, uh, not including uh, um, with Sue, although we met this past week, we're over 100 tic 180 tickets so far. So we're hoping to be able to hit the 200 mark. And yes. there still is a uh, card downstairs for Rainbow Lyle, who will open heart surgery on Tuesday. And for anybody who hasn't signed in yet, there's still a card there. We'd like to send him our, our best Thank you. I did have a chance to see Ray uh, Monday, uh, or actually Thursday evening, and um, I brought the, uh, the best wishes of our parish, and thank you, Mariana, for um, kind of um, saying that, but I was going to lead into that, that in your prayers today that we remember uh, not only Ray Belisle, but also Elaine Helms, uh, Kathy LaFleur. Are there any other... Um, intentions for um, for the final prayer if not let us pray today for our nation there has been a lot of division and it is not good when we cannot come together and so I am not um, I'm not pleased with the way that there seems to be division in our country let us pray that the good Lord would touch our leaders, our president, so that we can get back on track as being a united states and not a divided states. I, um, I also uh, ask that you remember in prayer those who are sick, those who need God and his help. And let us pray for not only one another, but to pray for our church. May God be with you until we meet again. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And for our faithful departed, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May all, they all rest in the peace of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.